Well, hit that like button for me. Waka Flocka, uh, it seems that he was attacked a week ago and now it's hitting the news. Uh, I'll bring break this down. It's weird how this is coming out now a week later, but I, I don't know. We'll have to see how that's getting out there. Uh, T.I. addresses Kodak Black, makes a song about that. Um, then we got Young Thug coming at YF and Lucci again because some strippers are saying like wife and Lucci threw like a hundred bucks for four of them or something and they gotta give 15 bucks each. This is George Tower with JT News. Hit that bell and the subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button, guys. Smash that thumbs up button. I appreciate it. Uh, I wish Young Thug and YFN weren't beefing though because they're in the same city and, you know, I don't want to see anything bad happen between those two, you know? So like... Not at all am I advocating these guys take it to another level. Thug keeps poking and YFN pokes back. And that can, if you just happen to be in the same strip club the same night, something bad can happen. And I, I don't want anything bad to happen, honestly. And I know those two will escalate it or their crews will escalate it to something happening. So somebody should get in the middle of that and just, you know, come on, coexist in the same city at least, you know? Now, Waka Flocka, he was at his Atlanta studio, and supposedly, well, allegedly, a shooting took place on April 4th at his studio, and there's no details. There were three gunmen that opened fire. I don't know how they know these details. Uh, tons of bullets entered. The Nobody got hurt, luckily. Waka was uh, among a bunch of people in there. Um, then it said, you know, there's this guy that's putting all this stuff out from WSG TV. Let me see if I can put this on the screen. You know, he said, just in Atlanta rapper, Waka Flocka forced, uh, forced to dodge in a barrage of bullets. Um, entering the recording studio, then he said, more info, Waka's name, uh, blah, 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 nearly a dozen people in the recording studio. Witnesses told police three gunmen fired shots into the studio. I mean, I don't know. Then it says, why is this breaking like a week later? Then it said, when officers arrived to the Northwest Atlanta recording studio, they were greeted outside by two armed men who told them their friend had been shot in the right arm, said. Waka Flocka wasn't injured. Then, uh, then it says, this all happened earlier this month, April 4th, at Zach recording on 669 Antone Street. We stopped by the studio an identified man told us no comment. It's unclear what, uh, if the Atlanta rapper was intended target. Could have been anything. I mean, who knows? It could have been one of his homies that had a problem. Who knows? But this guy's reporting it. Um, and I don't know how this just didn't get out. But I don't know how it all of a sudden got out. I can have my own thoughts on that, but I'm not going to go down that road, okay? <laughs> then, um, what's the last thing we got? Oh, yeah, uh, I addressed that. Let's see, what's the last thing we got to address here? Sometimes I get lost. Oh, yeah, T.I. addresses Kodak Black. Go to his Instagram, and you'll see the song. He's just talking about, you know, if, a, if you get in the mall, someone might assault you or something like that, you know, for disrespecting Nipsey, and, you know, stuff like that. Nothing crazy, nothing groundbreaking. It is what it is, but he did make a song about it. And then Tierra Marie was in the comments saying, I gotta get on this. And everybody clowned her. <laughs> this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. You know, if and if you guys don't believe me, wait a minute, I gotta put it on the screen. Cause sometimes you guys don't believe me. So I gotta put it back. So wait, hold on, what's it, what's it, let's drop back a second. I'll put it on the screen once it pops up. I just took the picture and screenshotted it. So once it, uh, and then you can see Tia Marie was thirsty. She's getting thirsty out there after the whole 50 thing. Let's see right here. See, Tia Marie. I need in on this. Nobody wants her on that. It's Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button and I'll check you guys later.